Okay, in this video, I'm going to be starting every exam question that's ever been asked, and this time it is going to be about transformations. And these transformations are things like rotations, reflections, all that kind of stuff. And actually, they seem to really ask a lot of questions about enlargements, and then other ones are just lots of transformations at once. So I'm going to split this video into two parts. I'm going to start off doing all of the questions about enlargements. Now, this is always linked in the description, this PDF, so if you do ever want to use this, you will have access to it by just clicking the link in the description. So it says here to enlarge shape P by scale factor negative one half with center of enlargement zero zero, label your image Q. Okay, so one of the things I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw on some ray lines, starting from the coordinate that I have at the top and going through my center of enlargement. Now my center of enlargement is zero zero, which is obviously just the origin that we've got there. So all of my ray lines are gonna go from here towards, from each corner, sorry, towards the ray line that we've got. And then I'm just going to pretend it was like with a ruler. I'm going to draw it nice and long like that. Now I'm going to do the same with this one that I have. Again, it's going to go through the origin. So here it is, is a nice kind of long line like this. And then I'm going to do the same with this other point. I'm going to go through the origin as it straightens out. Okay, sometimes good notes doesn't do like a good straightening out line for me. There we go. And I'm going to just sort of stretch that one out as far as it needs to go as well. So once I've done this, I'm going to try and figure out where the triangle is going to belong over here. So I'm going to begin by concentrating on this particular point. You can see for this point to go from the center of enlargement, you go four across and three up. So if I do this first one here, this one is going four to the right and then it is going three up. Now, because the scale factor is going to be negative a half, I'm going to go in the opposite direction for both of them because of the negative that we have. So it's going to be going left and down and I'm going to be halving it. So it's going to be going two to the left and then 1.5 down. So I'm going to start from the center here. I'm going to go two to the left and 1.5 down so that that coordinate is going to move to that place over there. And the next one I'm going to do is this. So I'm not going to do this for all of them, but you can see here it is going two to the across and three up. Well, that's going to be therefore going one to the left and 1.5 down. So that one is going to be going to this place here. And then this last one at the top is going two across and seven up. So I'm going to be going one to the left and 3.5 down. And you'll notice it should always land on one of the ray lines that we've drawn earlier on. So all that's left to do is to very carefully connect these together so that we get the triangle looking like this. Now there's two things you should notice. The triangle is half of the size, so instead of it being four, it's now two, and instead of it being two, it's one. But the negative part has meant that it's kind of done this sort of flipping around as well. So it's not just going to be half the size, it's also kind of done a rotation as well. Okay, so the mark schemes aren't gonna be super useful for this. I think my diagrams are gonna make more sense. So it says here, we're gonna enlarge shape A by a scale factor of a third, center, zero, one. And they've al already labeled that as the center. Now scale factor of a third, it actually means it's going to be getting smaller, this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just concentrate on doing the ray line for this first point that we have. I'm just gonna connect those together using a straight line. And I'm gonna count how I go from here to this point that we've got. Well, I'm going three across and three up. So for my new point, I'm just going to be going one across and one up, which is going to be here, and you always measure it from this point. Now, if you wanted to, you could do the same thing with a ray line from here to here, and with another ray line from here to here, but it's gonna overlap as well. So I'm actually just gonna use maybe this ray line, but if you wanted to, you could just count, this one is one, two, three, four, five, six. So in my new one, it should just be two up like this, which is why it crosses that ray line there. And because it's three across here, I can now just say, okay, it's just going to be one across because it's a third of that. Three across, three down means it's going to be one down, which means those last parts are just going to overlap like this. So I'm going to just say that that is the enlarged shape. Now, I've just realized what I didn't do on the previous question. It said to label my image Q. So this one here, I'm just going to put a little Q inside it, but you'd be fine even if you didn't label it. Okay, let's continue with the next one that we've got here. So it says, describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. Well, the first thing I've noticed is it's gone from something big to something small. So as it's a single transformation, we know that it's going to have to be an enlargement. Now, there are other things you need to say for an enlargement. You need to say the scale factor 
and you need to find the center. Well, I think the scale factor is gonna be kind of easy to do because it, you notice on this one, it is three long and then it becomes one that is one long. So it's gone from three to one. So it's definitely going to be a scale factor of a third. And it's also kind of been rotated as well. You'll notice it's not a B triangle that looks like this. It's also been rotated, which means that it is a negative scale factor. Now what I'm gonna do is find the coordinate of the center by doing the ray lines that we do. Now I think the easiest one to notice is that this corner and this corner must match each other because they are the matching corners of the shape. So let's just see if I can get that to become a straight line. Perfect. Now, this one might surprise you, but this corner doesn't match with this one. That corner actually matches with this one at the bottom. So when I draw these lines together, they're actually going to be those two that are matching. And then when I do this corner with this corner here, if I match those together, luckily I've got this kind of ruler tool, we will see that they all cross over at this point that we've got, and that is going to be our center which is two, two. So the center of enlargement is two, two. We have to say enlargement, scale factor minus a third, and center two, two. You must make sure you have that word enlargement. So you can see you need to say enlargement, the negative a third, and two, two. Because it's in brackets, you don't technically need to write those things, but I think it's a good idea to do this. Okay, it then says for this question, it's just a one mark question, Roy is going to enlarge triangle PQR, with center C and scale factor one and a half, he draws triangle X, Y, Z. Explain why what Roy's diagram is not correct. Well, let's have a quick look. On this part of the triangle, he's done a two, and on that side of the triangle, it is a five. So if we wanted to find out what the scale factor that he's done, you can do five divided by two and see what that is. And five divided by two is 2.5, but he said that it was 1.5. So Roy's diagram is not correct because he used 2.5 as the scale factor. He used 2.5, not one and a half, as the scale factor. Let's double check, we've got that one. Yeah, acceptable answers, the scale factor he used is 2.5. Okay, we're gonna enlarge triangle A by a scale factor of 2.5 with center zero one. Well, I'm gonna draw the ray line from the center of enlargement to this bottom part, which is obviously just going to be a horizontal line. That's gonna help me start off seeing where this triangle is gonna belong. So the journey from the center of enlargement to here is two. And because the scale factor is 2.5, I'm gonna do two times 2.5, which is five. So I want the new part of the triangle to be five from here. That's one, two, three, four, five. So at this point that I've got there, that is going to be the first part of the triangle. Now you'll see this part of the triangle is four. So because it's four, I'm gonna do four multiplied by 2.5. I'm gonna enlarge it by 2.5 and four times 2.5 is going to be 10. So I want the triangle to go up 10 spaces. Well, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I'm just gonna make a little mark there and then I'm gonna join those two parts together like this. Now this part is two along the top and two times 2.5, because we're enlarging it by 2.5, is five. So I'm gonna make that triangle go along like this. And then last thing I'm gonna do is connect those bits together and we get what our triangle should look like. Now, if you wanted to, you could also check that it's right by having these ray lines and you'll see that actually the ray lines do line up for the shape. It's a nice little check just to make sure that you have done it correct, but I usually do those afterwards. So again, the mark scheme's not gonna make a ton of sense, but it does tell you where the vertices need to be, which we do have in the correct place. Okay, we've got another describing one, and it's a clue that it's an enlargement because it's in this video, but it says, describe fully the enlargement that maps triangle A onto triangle B. Well, I'm gonna begin by making sure that I say that it's an enlargement. I know it's an enlargement because this one is bigger than this one. Now we're going from A to B. So if you look at this side of the triangle on A, it is two. And if you look at this side on the triangle of B, it is a three. So the scale factor for this particular case is going to be this one divided by this one. The scale factor is going to be three divided by two. And you can see there's this kind of rotation that's happened. It's not that A has just got bigger, because if it got bigger, it would look like this kind of shape, but it's also had that strange rotation, which means it is a negative. Of course, we could say that that is negative 1.5 if we wanted to as well. All we're gonna do now is find the center, and the center is done by joining the matching points together. So I think the ones with the right angle are probably gonna be the easiest to tell. So let's hopefully that this becomes that straight line that we've got there. 
Then I'm going to think about the ones that match. Well, this one is going to match with this one. So I'm going to join those together. Let's see if I can get that joining together a little bit more neatly. And then I'm also going to do this one at the top matching to the other corner that we've got as well. And when you join those together, we get that they all are going to cross at this point here. Now I haven't drawn it particularly accurately, but I think it looks like it's crossing at one, one for this part. So my center is going to be one, one. Let's double check we've got these right. So we have, it is an enlargement with scale factor minus 1.5 and center one, one. Okay, now the rest of this is all multiple transformations. So I'm gonna do this on a separate video because they're gonna include things like translations and rotations and all sorts of stuff all at once. So if you found this video useful, please do like it and make sure you're subscribed to get all of the other updates of things I'm gonna be doing for your GCSE revision.